the veterans, the guys, and the troops across the water. August 17, 1967 was a special day in the life of the GP and a brand new group called the Union Gap. We, uh, I had put together a little portfolio because I knew that the world was, uh, you know, competitive out there. I knew that there was a lot of people that wanted to uh, make it up that hill and be king of the mountain kind of thing, you know, in the record world and the concert world and all that. And I knew that there was a lot of competition out there. So I thought, well, let's approach it like a business. Let's make a little portfolio and let's put pictures and let's put, you know, songs and, and let's put... Uh... Mm. Excuse me for interrupting you. <laughs> There's something you'd like to say. <laughs> Do you have to leave soon? Um, reply. <laughs> we'll get to it to a real soon point. I don't know what I was saying now. Portfolio! Portfolio! Probably doesn't even really matter, does it? Or do you want to hear that? Yeah! Okay. So I have this portfolio now in my hand, and I go to all the record companies in Los Angeles. Got turned down by everybody, except for one. I'm driving out of town, and I see these big letters on the side of the, the building. It says CBS, and I think, oh, wait a minute, fellas, just keep the car running. I'll be right back. I'm sure that after five days of getting turned down, one more time won't hurt. Mm -hmm. So I walked in, and there was a lady in there that was kind of like, uh, what was that uh, character on TV with the pulling the plugs in? What, what, Willie Tom again, yeah, yeah, yeah. and there was a lady doing that, the old style switchboard, she was pulling, pushing, and, you know, doing everything, and I said, excuse me, you wouldn't want to uh, hear a new group, would you? She said, just a minute, and she pulled and she pushed a little bit, and she said, blah, 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 she said, go down the hallway there and turn right, take the second door on your right, and I said, okay, so I went down, and there's a fellow down there by the name of Jerry Fuller. And I walked in and he's like wandering around his office. He's just brand new there. See, so he's putting up this gold record on it. It says Ricky Nelson, mm. traveling man. And I go, wow, that's pretty cool. I said, would you like to uh, take a look at this portfolio? And he said, yeah. You know, and he kind of liked it. He said, I'm gonna come down and see this band. Where do, where do they perform? And I said, well, we're gonna be in San Diego. He said, San Diego? I said, yeah. I said, we're there every night, all week long. He said, I'll be there on Saturday. I said, okay, good. So Monday night through, I'm coasting along, you know, taking it easy on the voice. And I want to make sure that I'm in good voice when Jerry gets there. Friday night, midnight, I'm standing at the microphone. Stage isn't this high, but it's, you know, down. Guy walks up. I almost don't, didn't, didn't recognize him because it was Friday. He looks at me and he goes, let's make a record. Mm -hmm. I just went, oh my God, listen to this. Here's the first record that we made. Um, August 17th, released September 17th. It started to be a hit by Christmas time of 1967. Initially, a million and a half records were sold, and to this date, over 15 million copies. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
guys are the greatest. You guys are the greatest. Are you having a good time? Yeah. I'm having a fabulous time. Tell all your friends that didn't come what a, what a great time they missed. We're just having a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We sure are. I'm going to come over here for just a second. Are you guys in any kind of a hurry? Okay, good. It's uh, Friday night. I just got paid. I'm no fool about my money. <laughs>